like it says, I'm Tom Stone. And this is Tom Stone Says This, Episode 1. It's that unique. It's that special. Although that title is going to come up for every episode. By the way, I don't know how I did that. But it looks awesome, does it not? Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. This is an episode. This is a show. This is my second channel. This is a show dedicated to people. You guys give me ideas of what to do. I do them. It's that good. Unfortunately for episode one, no one gave me any ideas what to do. So I'm going to have to try and come up on my spot. And I'm not very good at pressure. Really not good at pressure. But instead, I but lucky enough, I planned for this. Mainly because I knew no one had commented on my stuff. Because I'm always on YouTube. And no one ever comments on my stuff. Hide back in. Hide back in. So I'm going to talk about E3. The gaming convention that I probably happened a month or two ago. I know I'm a bit late. But the thing is, I never got to express my feelings about it, so this is my time. Okay, things that I thought were bad about it. First of all, Nintendo and their whole involvement in it. I think someone should tell them to just kind of get lost somewhere, give them fake directions. I don't know, just don't have them at E3. The new Wii remotes, the new Wii thing with the screen, the new games. Pointless, in my opinion, anyway. E3 is a is a convention for gamers, for actual gamers, for people that have PS3s, Xbox 360s, hell even PCs and laptops like mine. Here, it is not for cutie, fluffy little yo mama cooking slag dip dap games. It really isn't. And the console itself just looks dabbed. It's, they thought it would be innovative to put a screen on there so you can see something that's in the game that you can't see when you're looking on the TV screen. That's going to be a failure. It looked okay, I'll admit, at the convention. That's because they had a game to specifically designed for it. Imagine football games with it. What, you're going to beat a ball? You're just going to get kicked in the back of the head the whole time? It's not going to be any good. It really isn't. Another thing I didn't like was the celebration of Zelda's 25th. Now, I never got into the whole Zelda universe, but I don't have anything against it. I like the games. I have I played a few. I've never finished any of them, but they're enjoyable. But this is the second year in a row that Nintendo has done a 25th anniversary. Last year it was Mario. And Mario is better than Zelda, at least in my opinion. It's more legendary. It's more well-known. But they got to stop doing that. That's their ploy, that people actually remember them, so they don't get forgot in the rush of all these epic games that are coming out for PS3 and xbox and all that just just go away give them a, their own convention do it in japan where half people can't go because of communism oh i should have done that oh well another thing i didn't like was the fact that ea sports and all their games didn't get a good look in now i'm a bit of a sports game i'm fanatic about some of them i love the fifa series i love the boxing series i love the nfl series and they didn't get hardly any notice if you watched game television, if you watch, if you read the magazines, there's very little about them. And that gets, that annoys me, because they expand to a far wider universe than most people know. I don't live in America, I've only gone once, twice I think in my life, but I love NFL. I love the games, and NFL 12 looked absolutely amazing. The graphics were unbelievable, the gameplay looked legendary. So, why don't they highlight that more? Same with FIFA. Soccer... Football, whatever you call it, wherever you're from, is the most successful sport franchise in the world. Surely that should got like that should have been on the top. That should have been more shown than Zelda, the and the repackaging of a game that was out for Nintendo 64. I had Nintendo 64. It's not that good, especially in modern day. FIFA and EA should get far more recognition for it. But the number one thing that got me, and this is a slightly biased thing. Is the lack of interest in the new WWE game. I am a huge wrestling fanatic. I'm pretty sure it says it on my channel. If it doesn't, it says on my other one. I know I put it down somewhere. And the fact that no one seems to pay attention to it is infuriating. The game is epic. It's got a whole brand new motor. It's got a brand new system. It's gotten away with the old games. And I'll, I'll admit it that the old games, they were, they were rather shit. They were. So why didn't people put more emphasis in the fact that this new game, with some of the wrestlers actually being there, is going to blow people's minds, going to blow wrestling fans' minds. Hell, it's going to even blow some gamers' minds, because of how good the graphics are, how good the gameplay is. It's very revolutionary, especially in wrestling games, especially in motion capture games. 
not at a noir motion capture, but still very good. But now I'm going to go to the good and the positives. This E3 definitely focused on the free aspect of itself, with Far Cry 3 coming out, Uncharted 3, Bioshock 3, actually known as Bioshock Infinite, but it's still the third one, Modern Warfare 3, they all came out and they all looked brilliant. I plan to get all of them except maybe Far Cry 3. Not because the game isn't good, not because it's not legendary, but because I found Far Cry 2 too hard and a bit boring. I just don't know, it wasn't my sort of thing. But Uncharted 3, as a PS3 man myself, looks absolutely legend frickin' dairy, if I do say so myself. It's gonna be it's gonna be off the charts. It's gonna be one of the games of the year. It's gonna rival, I think. It's really gonna rival Gears of War 3, which won last year. It did. I think Gears of War might have might be the top of this perch. Of course, all you Xbox 360 you guys are going to disagree with me, but hey, it's just my opinion. Anyway, I want to thank you for listening to my ranting about E3. Leave like the like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment about what you think I should do next week. Talk about, and don't worry, I'm not going to be so serious about it. I'm just doing it this week because I love E3 and I wanted to get my opinions across. But please tell me what you want to do. Say anything funny. I don't mind. I'm willing to do anything because I'm on the computer too much. I am. So thanks very much for watching. And let me just say this, wait here. Yes, you do hear a zip opening and my hand is under the table. But I'm not doing what you think I am. In fact, I'm doing this. And why am I doing this? So I can finish off. You've watched Tom Stone says this. And that's all I've got to say.